Hey everyone, Colin here, and just wanted to cover this insane uh, day that we've had here in the charts. So, you know, obviously we've seen a huge dump in Bitcoin, but um, that was coming. I mean, we, we could see that this was coming because Bitcoin had been showing bearish divergence really for the past several months. And so that really told us that, you know, um, a correction was imminent. And one of the great things about it is that we've actually come pretty close. Uh, let's go to the BTC USD. All right. So let's get a larger chart here. Now, if we were on the week and we know that in the previous bull run, people used the 21-week moving average. Um, we came down to the 21-week moving average constantly, and that was a great sign of support for us to continue to move up. So let's look at where the 21-week moving average would take us right now. So, I mean, look at this. This is the closest we've been to this thing. This really is the closest that we've been to this thing, this entire bull run, right? We've we got above the 21 week moving average in May of 2020 and we've never been below it since the last time we've had contact with it is September guys from September 2020 I mean you don't ever see anything run that much right so you talk about September uh, three months we've gone practically seven months now right well this is the end of September so I guess you could say six months okay a massive run by Bitcoin um, and now for the first time we've gone down here okay some other things that gave us a clue as to what was happening was let me get this let me put this back to the 50 and we can see this was the first time we actually went below the 50 the 50 day moving average this is the first time we've been below this since September guys since September okay call it the beginning of October 2020 this is the first time that we've actually crossed below um, the 50 day moving average now we've come here to hit an area of support because if we look left we can see that there is a lot of um, there's a lot of action support and resistance touch points right here so there's no surprise that we came at 48,000 for the support um, would expect a little bounce here but that's not necessarily it doesn't necessarily mean that it's over for Bitcoin at this point in terms of the correction um, we could go down as you can see I drew this support line a long time ago and we could come back down and actually test this support level at around 42,000 right somewhere between 40 somewhere between 40 and 42,000 okay so that's absolutely in the cards and uh, hopefully this 200 day moving average will move up here by the time we get in contact with it because normally there's a really good bounce off of the 200 day moving average right but that's what was happening with Bitcoin now over to NEO as you know we've been, I've been doing several videos about several of these coins if we look at NEO um, we made an, the last time Bitcoin dumped we we rebounded and we made an incredible run right and we ran up to the 618 and I had been saying in my videos there's normally a correction at the 618 level and guys, did we have that correction? I mean, this is exactly what normally happens. Normally, we go down two Fibonacci levels. And I mean, when you look at the length of this candle, obviously, this was pretty unsustainable, right? I mean, this was this was a massive candle, and we even kind of peeked our heads through this level, going towards the seven eight six, but we have come down and really that is not really surprising it's not really surprising to be honest 
Um, you don't want to see it, to be honest. You, you really don't want to see it. You want to just go straight to the all-time high and, and, you know, and call it that. But um, along the way, you got to get your corrections, okay? So what's happening right now with NEO, Bitcoin, etc., very healthy, okay? Very healthy, guys. So we look at it on a smaller time frame. And let me show you how the charts line up. And we're just talking about the beauty of mathematics here. Let me go on the four hour. And let's see what was happening and how we can actually time this major move. Now, when a coin or a trading pair makes a massive run up, it starts to form a pattern after a while. And what we got to do is we got to take a look at this pattern and we can see here we had a descending triangle okay we had a descending triangle right here and then we had this support level going like this okay in this descending triangle we can see the pattern as it developed now what you wait for right you always want to wait to make your trade outside of the pattern right when we break out of the pattern it will normally show you it's more of a reaction to the market right let's let the market tell us what it wants to do and we can trade accordingly so we broke down out of this and, and descending triangles right have like a 70 to 80 percent chance of actually breaking to the downside right it's um we kept having lower highs lower highs and we kept meeting the same um level in terms of a floor so this forms a descending triangle so how do we take a measured move so to take a measured move here's what we got to do we draw our trend line here and we draw a line straight down and then we pull this out and we move it hold on let's see i'm drawing that line a little too long here hold on. okay all right and we move this line down to the breakout point and say, okay, we broke out right here, right? Now take a look at that, guys. I mean, take, I mean, pretty much to the T, pretty much right to the T. Do you see how we get um, a, a good picture on if, whether or not we're going to go up or we're going to go down? So if we had broken up out of this pattern, we would take that same measurement right here. And we would have placed it like this. And we would have said, you know what? Okay, there's a strong chance that we break to the upside back to around $129. But we broke to the downside. So we put this measurement of the pattern right here where we broke out. And guys, I mean, you don't get any better than that, right? So that, once again, people always looking, they're always looking for news. Oh, what happened? Was it miners? Was it this? Was it that? And you're going to probably get a bunch of different stories trying to tell you, oh, this is what happened. This is what happened. Guys, look at the mathematics. Look at the chart. The chart told us exactly where we were going down to. From here, from the time we broke down, the chart told us where we were going. Okay? So that's what happened with NEO. Okay? Let's take a look at XRP. And in some of my previous videos, if you actually go back and look, you will see where I talked about this, about us, the possibility of us actually coming back down. Same thing. We went up here to the Fibonacci, the possibility of coming back down to Fibonacci levels, right? And I did say, worst case scenario, I did say in my videos, worst case scenario, we could come back down here to around 80 something cents. 80 to 90 cents because if we look left this was a major resistance area here that we finally broke through so when we broke through it we never came back down and confirmed support on this level so in a sense this was something that really had to happen we had to come back down and just confirm support so to be honest this is good news the good news is we're coming down here and we're forming support and once we continue to close above this, we know we're going to turn around and we're going to head back up. Okay? So that's what's going to happen with XRP. So just know, guys, nothing goes straight up, just like nothing goes straight down. You have corrections. You have momentum shifts. And at this point, 
once we bust through the 0 0.23 level on the Fibonacci, then we know we're headed towards the all-time high. But of course, we're not going to go straight there all in one go. Okay, so came up here, which if we look left, this was a major area right here of resistance and support. So that sent us screaming downwards. And, you know, we corrected pretty much, um, you know, two Fibonacci levels. Okay, so at the end of the day, the momentum is still in our favor. And we should see a turnaround maybe over the next several days just, you know, for this market madness to just kind of settle down. And then we start to pick back up and head the direction that we're supposed to head. So that was XRP. And I think we also wanted to see Bitcoin Cash, right? So these are actually three of my, three of my big holdings right now. Those particular coins, XRP, Bitcoin Cash. And NEO, um, I've also increased my Ethereum position because Ethereum is starting to look good now, again. And so let's see what happened with Bitcoin Cash. Now, with Bitcoin Cash, we broke out of this level that was a major resistance the first time. But once again, after we broke out here at the $785 level, we never came back down and really confirmed as support. We just shot straight up like a rocket. And went all the way to 1200 bucks so again we had to come back down retest and stay above this level of support once we do that very very good sign for continued bullish momentum okay we'll probably move sideways here a little bit and then we start to make our way up then we need to get a couple of candles to close once we get a few candles on the daily chart closing above this level in the Fibonacci it's going to be fireworks and we are going to start heading up quickly we're going to head to 1700 um, get a little rejection there and of course the big one around this is look at the 618 guys 618 okay the big one at around 2600 okay we should see a major rejection at that point uh, correction probably come back down here and then settle down again and head back up okay so um, much of the worst I think is behind us to be honest um, Bitcoin is losing its dominance and what normally happens after Bitcoin really controls the headlines and everything like that for about six months then we get into alt season and um, if we're really kicking off the real alt season here altcoin season it's going to be a big one because a lot of money that was in Bitcoin is going to naturally flow now into the altcoins. And when the altcoins pump, they make Bitcoin's movement look like child's play. Okay, so that's what we're really excited about. That's what we're really looking forward to. So these are some things that I wanted to show you. And um, so there's a lot of promise, a lot of upside here, but more than anything else, guys, that's why we have this massive dump just looking from a technical standpoint i don't need to hear any news i can just look from the technical standpoint and we can see for one let's look on the let me show you what i mean look on the weekly chart look at the bearish divergence here right so on the price action we had higher highs higher highs higher highs on the RSI we're way in overbought territory right we came down and we're doing higher low uh, sorry a lower high and a lower high and a lower high again so we were definitely due to come down I don't think that Bitcoin is done with its correction like I said I think it's gonna end up coming all the way down uh, down this way I mean usually when we're coming from this type of territory see just like you saw this up here some divergence we came all the way down on the RSI and cooled off I would expect something like that for Bitcoin um, but we want to see this money flow now into the altcoins to really kick off the altcoin season okay so more than anything else guys from a technical analysis standpoint the charts show you what it's going to do see once again this trend line 
we have been following this trend line since the first major correction at 28,000. It had we had obeyed this trend line the entire way up and we just broke through it last week. Right? Last week we broke through this thing. We had to come back up and confirm um, resistance underneath this line and now look what happens right now we're plummeting downwards because we've broken through this line that was major support since January okay we're practically at the end of April so three months now we've been obeying that trend line so this is probably going to be Bitcoin's situation for the next several weeks and so we just got to um, look for money to flow into all coins now and once like I said once the real all coin season kicks off that we've really been looking forward to it's going to be absolutely insane okay guys so I hope that you enjoyed this analysis and until next time stay encouraged crypto is here to stay